Hi y'all. So I need to get on here and kind of introduce this vlog and everything because if not, any nothing I say is probably gonna make sense. Um, I thought I recorded way more things than I actually did. <laughs> but okay, here's the breakdown. Our house, I told y'all in the last vlog that it was getting ready to go on the market. So it went on the market like a couple of weeks ago now and it sold in one day. We had so many offers. Um, it was honestly a very tough decision. Like me and my husband literally had to flip a coin <laughs> because there was just so many great offers and, um, we had people, um, like we had someone write us a letter and it was a very tough decision, but, um, ultimately the right decision was made and we are under contract and, some more things have gone on, but I will share that at a later date. So everything is good right now. So we are in the stage right now of getting our house ready to just um, leave, getting it ready for the new owners. So the new owners will be in here the beginning of next month. And we have basically like a month right now to be out the house, but we want to be out like a week earlier than closing so that you know they can do the final walkthrough and it be empty and i have time to touch up like any more nail holes because i've touched up a lot of them but if i need to touch up any more touch up any paint and we can deep clean the house because i want it to be perfect for them because this is our baby like i told y'all so that is where we are at right now so i just wanted to like tell you guys that so all of this would make sense because i kind of like jumped into it and i didn't realize or I don't know if the footage was lost or whatever, but I didn't tell you guys like, you know, what happened. So I will show y'all what we have packed so far. Um, my husband will be coming like towards the end. He is training over the road right now. So it's just me and the kids. And we were, ugh, I'm tongue tied. In the beginning, we were going to hire movers. I was so excited. I was like, we're gonna get movers. But that is not happening because if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that we were quoted $18,000 for movers to come to pack up our house and move us. Um, and that is like, I don't know if that's normal for some of y'all, but for us, that is not normal. Like we were thinking no more than like $5,000, no baby. Because online, they were like only $65 an hour. And we were like, even if there's like eight hours of work, two guys, it'll, you know, that doesn't add up to $18,000. <laughs> like, do people really pay that to move? Because I think that is insane. Um, and even to get those like, sorry, even to get those like pod things delivered to you, that costs like $5,000 for them to drop a pot off in front of our house, us pack our house, us put our stuff on the truck, and them to just drive it to Houston. That's even like five, dollars $6,000. So ultimately, we're just going to get a U-Haul. My husband's probably going to be home or we'll hire someone to help me, like family or something. And um, I'm going to pack the U-Haul up and then we will just go to Texas. So I want to show you guys what I've packed so far. I'm sorry that I didn't really show packing, but it's chaotic and we have kids and all of that. So I'll show you guys that in just a minute. I just wanted to bring y'all up to oh, speed. Hey y'all, I am in the car. It's a, a day later or so. We just got a lot of moving boxes. We got them from Dollar General and a liquor store. They were free and boxes are like $2 a piece. So. Um, we went and got moving boxes. This candy is so good, by the way. Has nothing to do with this. I got stuff to make tacos tonight for dinner. And I'm about to go home, eat some candy, make our tacos, and pack up. I have taken everything off of the walls in our house. Like, the art and stuff. I have to touch up a few nail holes, but I've touched up paint. And we are about to get packing. We have 30 days, but I wanted to go ahead and do as much as I could already. It is like the time of day where traffic is pretty heavy, but we are on our way home and I wanted to update this because y'all know when you get settled in, like stuff gets crazy with three kids and while they're contained, I figured I would go ahead and let y'all know what's going on and what we're doing. So yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> the update for now. Um, 
we're headed home to pack and I know I'm packing early but I am one of those people that I need to pack early I don't like waiting until the last minute and um, since it's just gonna be me doing most of this stuff I like to have a head start I got some tape the Dollar Tree sells tape and paint brushes I've been paying like five dollars for paint brushes and they have a three pack set I will show you guys in just a minute when I can they have a three pack set for a dollar twenty five what <laughs> so i've been spending like four or five dollars for one paintbrush when they have them that cheap and all i need them for is like touching up different paints in the house so yeah and i got some packing tape from the dollar tree as well because i didn't know i hope i said dollar tree earlier and not dollar general but i got packing tape as well because i didn't know if we had any at home and that was only a dollar 25 so i feel like i'm winning doing this this cheap getting those boxes for free was a huge score i'm trying to make this move as cheap as possible because the boxes will obviously be getting thrown away so i want to make this move as cheap as possible um so that's what we are doing there's all sizes of boxes back there y'all can only see those but there's a whole bunch back there trust me there's lots this is what i wanted to show y'all they have these paint brushes, a three piece set for a dollar twenty five because y'all know they went up twenty five cent, but still. And I got this um clear packaging tape. I mean it's just the pack boxes, so it shouldn't be a big deal. The stuff is gonna be in a U-Haul. And this is just chips and candy and sour cream. And we got a taco kit because we are making tacos tonight. Hey y'all, so um, we're in the car. We just got some Chick-fil-A after my daughter had school. And um, so I, when I get back home, I'm gonna show you guys what all I have packed so far. I've packed basically the whole downstairs area. I know I didn't show it, but it, I was just in the groove and getting it done. So I'll show you guys like our garage because all this stuff is in there. And um, we are about, 30 days out i don't know if i've said it already i'm pretty sure i probably have if i have i'll probably cut this part out but we our house sold on in like the first day so we are officially on i'm super super excited like we're on like day 15 now we have like um we don't have long before we are moving and i'm so excited but i've just had a lot going on so we just stopped and grabbed food it looks like it's gonna rain today so I'm pretty much done packing for now. The downstairs is pretty much done. The movers that we we're gonna go with quoted us $18,000, so there was no way we were gonna pay that. And it's just, that was ridiculous. So I was like, I'll just pack it myself. So I got free boxes and stuff, and I packed the downstairs area, and I have the upstairs to still go. But yeah, just wanted to give y'all like that little quick update. So when I get home, I can just show y'all the progress that i've made it is bedtime so my kids are upstairs in the bed my daughter just started whining so i'm gonna do this pretty fast but in the living room the only thing that we have left is literally our tv and our couch <laughs> because i moved the entertainment stand i took all the pictures off the wall and touched up paint i've done all of that so it looks bare in here um but that's fine so we have our like little internet stuff down here. I need to touch up a few more paint spots, but other than that, my husband will have to help me get the TV. I can actually get the couch by myself because um, the couch comes apart, but that's all we have left in here. And also, I have to get some goo gone to get that goo glue stuff off of that, um, what is it called? <laughs> a gla the glass door. And our Table is gone because the kids can eat here at the island. So the table is already gone. Um, it's in the garage because as of now, I think we're gonna take like all of the furniture, the cabinets up here. Well, I see this little thing that I didn't know <laughs> until I turned the camera on, but the cabinets up here are actually already empty. We've taken everything off of the mud room. They didn't ask for this bench, but we're keeping it here for them because it's like a part of the mud room. So we're gonna keep that here and we're keeping our fridge and we're gonna ask them if they want the washer and dryer as well because that was so much work to get that washer and dryer in this house and we just don't wanna take it. 
And there is nothing wrong with the washer and dryer. We just, it's just heavy and it's easier for us just not to take it. The entryway stuff is already gone and the walls over here are clean. And also this bathroom is empty. I think we're going to leave those shelves for them. But yeah, the bathroom is empty. Sorry if I'm echoing. So I got that done as well. And lastly, there is some pillows and my kids' toys in here and our TV, but that is all that is left in this room. I even moved the bed by myself. I was very shocked that I was able to get it, but I even got all of the stuff that was in this closet out. So, yeah, we have pretty much gotten the downstairs area done and it feels so great. Now, let me show you how we are storing all of that stuff. And by we, I mean, I, I have gotten all of this done. <laughs> so this is where all of the magic is. <laughs> all of the stuff that I've pretty much packed. As you see, I have had to go into a couple of the boxes because there was some stuff that I packed up that I shouldn't have. But um, I did leave my bike out so I can still work out over here. I have a trash pile over here and stuff that I'm going to be donating but yes yeah, some of this stuff like the baby stuff back there i'm probably not taking we're probably going to get rid of that but for the most part um like i got our desk out of our room and stuff like that and i basically just packed up our house took all the decor off the wall so here's all of our stuff and this is where i will store it until it goes on the moving truck we just have like extra boxes over here that i can put together for us to move whenever I need them. So that is the progress that I have actually made so far. Um, we've gotten a lot done. Well, I have gotten a lot done <laughs> and I'm so proud of myself. Um, it was a lot of work with the kids, but this stuff only took me one day. So um, I'm gonna leave the, I've got some of the upstairs already done, but I'm gonna leave like the big stuff, like obviously our beds and stuff can't get taken down to the last minute. And we'll probably get like a hotel the last week or the last few days before the final walkthrough is done because I kind of want our stuff out of here before the walk, final walkthrough so they can actually really, really see the house. Um, but other than that, we have like made so much progress and I'm super excited. Our next step is making sure we secure our place that we're gonna be living in in Texas and getting ready to move. So um, yeah.